Hmm, this is new. And now for something completely different. A Scotsman on a horse. Hmm, one of these things is not like the other. It's like a party of six horsemen and... Yeah, one of these things is definitely not like the other. It's a white horse among them. He must be the leader. Hmm. Don't know where that place is. Hey, it's Mr. Owl! What's he doing here? Only a little more to go. Hmm. They seem to be heading in our direction. Interesting. The plot thickens. Anyway, welcome one and all back to another installment of Shadow of the Colossus, Lord of Brimstone, bringing you the festive activities and wacky outings of Wander here in his... We got quite the posse now. Quite the entourage. And last time, we had defeated Pelagia. Yeah, that was... I really liked that fight, although for some reason it was acting really more buggier. I mean, weirder than usual. It's the fact that I was using Godzilla music. <laughs> anyway. Alright, Dorman, Tell us who our next Colossus is that we must slay. Vast desert lands, a giant trail drifts to the sky. It's like we're going back to the desert on a horse with no name. Oh wait, the name's Agro. Thou art not alone. Hmm, interesting. I do believe Dorman's making a reference to those horsemen that are approaching. Of course, Dorman has been talking in vague dialogue most of the game. Wander probably didn't catch that. Oh well, but it's interesting, Dorman, se Dorman seems to sense that. Probably since Dark Coming, too. Now that I think about it, interesting. Oh well. Let's go up here and check up on Mono. Hey, birds. And, yeah, you got a lot of color on your skin now. And, mm, wander, uh, yeah, you got a little something on your cheek there, buddy. Uh, might want to get that checked. Could be malignant. Niglant. No need you to catch skin cancer there, buddy. Anyways, we got, uh... Oh, let's go ahead and hop up on aggro here. Um, go ahead and head to our next Colossus. The next one we're going to be fighting is called Phalanx. And probably one of the more, one of the most cool, unique, and Probably epic looking of the Colossus in this game, barring the final one, of course. Very memorable fight, I know that much. Anyway, we have to get there first. It's quite a bit of a trek. Although, we've actually been past the area several times, as you will see. And, yeah, how's this for different? I'm using some sound. Yeah, some songs from Legend of Mana, which is a PS uh, PlayStation game. If you haven't played it, you should. Really good. The music was composed by Yoko Shimomura. Better, probably better known these days for the Kingdom Hearts soundtracks. The old Kingdom Hearts series in general. Yep, there's reasons why I chose this music. Well, this one I chose because the name is called Wanderer's Path, I believe. Quite appropriate for, you know, a guy that's named Wander. I'll go ahead and go through this forest again. And, uh... Let's see... Is this the way I need to go? Oh, it's so easy to get lost in here. There's like five different paths to take. Okay. No, no, this does not look right at all. Yeah, it's a long drop down. It won't kill us. It won't kill us, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. 
Oh well. Let's go this way. Hmm, I think I lost track of Argo. Agro, excuse me. It's over here. Actually, I don't think this is the way. Oh no, no, this is not the way, but I can show off what I'm talking about. You know, about what's below. Let's go over here and get a better look. Yeah, we do need to go in that direction. It's pretty close to where we are, unfortunately. We have to go the long way around. There you go. Yeah, don't let that wall- Ooh, lizard tail. I didn't realize there was one here. Anyway, as I was saying, don't let that water fool you. Um, it's like knee-deep. It's like that- It's like one video I saw, I think his name is Pyro Wolf or whatever, uh, did once like, ooh! Water, life-giving water, it'll never let me crack! Yeah, that kind of what happens. Like I say, it won't kill you, but dear god, it hurts. And uh, I cannot hit this lizard with the dam. Uh, well, that, that's great wander. That's great brimstone just swing in thin air and oh, ran back under. Oh, I don't want to kill it while it's on the wall, but just ran up the tree. Uh, uh, okay, I cannot chop the tree down. Water cannot chop down trees. I gotta remember this. Actually, I should have known that because I've tried it before. Oh. God, I am whiffing. Uh, it's official, folks. I cannot hit worth the damn with this sword. Okay, let's try arrows. Of course! One shot, one kill. Well, at least I'm getting better with the bow. I put skill ranks into that, into archery. And I wonder how many people are gonna get that reference. Oh well, let's go ahead and head back. Uh, hmm. You know what? I should save. Yeah, I think saving is probably a good idea. Okay. Unfortunately, the problem with the forest is it's hard to see where the paths are because, well, it's a forest. Yeah, it's kind of like the, you know, forest maze, or whatnot. You know, Geno's fort, whatever you want to call it. It's lost woods, it, it's just as bad. Doesn't help, there's five different ways out of here. Of course, two of them fall a long drop down. And, yeah, we'll save. Although, I swore I just saw Lizardale. I, I think I did, left corner, yeah, I did. Interesting. So they do regenerate. Oh, did I hit him? No, I did not. I swore I hit you dead on. Okay. I feel like Lurts right now. Oh, I can't believe I just... Ugh, stupid hit detection. Okay, you saw that. The cursor's right on him, and it bounced off the freaking... Ugh. There you go. Slow mode. Not sped up, which I hope... Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to speed this up. <sighs> hard earned lizard tail. Seriously, it's. And it only happens on the temples. It's the only place I had that really weird hit detection problem. Oh well. Uh. uh I don't know. Okay, where was I again? Oh yeah, this is the forest. Uh, yeah, I. Kinda got lost in the the way I came, so, um, how I did that, I don't know. I'm just talented, I guess. Alrighty. I think I know where I'm supposed to go. And this force is so disorienting sometimes. Five different ways you can go. Of course, two of them involve long drops down, but still a little confusing. Anyway, oh, get some tree there and... Holy crap! Uh, okay, I'm just hitting everything today. Uh, let's go over... Seriously, what the hell? Okay, Aggro, can we please stop... Aggro, seriously, please, can we stop hitting everything in this freaking forest? God, I, I swear, I said earlier in this game that you're... 
that you're intelligent because you can auto-correct in narrow situations, but seriously, you are driving like a fracking tank right now. Uh, maybe it's my controller, I don't know. I should use my other, newer controller. Okay, at least I'm out of that freaking maze forest. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm in the right area, though. This is definitely not looking like the desert. Oh, well. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've ran out of things to say. Uh, unfortunately, that's the problem with an expansive game like this with nothing really around. You tend to run out of things to say unless you can come up with totally random stuff like why do hot dogs come in packages of 10 while hot dog buds come in packages of 8? If you come up, can't come up with stuff like that, or why Wander's wearing purple sandals, you tend to run out of material quite quickly. Oh well. I'm sure I'll cope. We've got two falcons following us. Pretty cool. Alright. Oh! Holy shit! Whoa! Ah! Oh, oh my god! I just had flashbacks of Bassarin. How the hell did I not fall? Oh, wow. Oh, man. Um, yeah. I'm gonna walk a little bit. Uh, note to sell. Pay attention during commentary and go a little slower. Um, wow. How did I fall? Uh, I'm not gonna question that. That was an interesting backflip, Wander did. Gotta remember that. Okay, where, where was I? Let's try this again without the near fall to our death. Okay, I need to work my way around. Uh, Argo, aggro, stop doing that. Okay, oh, duh! Seriously, horse. I, I just glitched aggro! <laughs> See, that was running in place. Okay. I better walk for a while. I think that's what the game is telling me. And this is the track where, if you've played Legend of Mana, know where this track, know this track, and know where it's from, you can kind of get a hint to what type of Colossus we're going to be fighting, and also know how damn appropriate this song actually is when you think about it. Anyway, there's a save point here, but. I'm gonna go ahead and save and stuff, but I think I'll save, you know, I think I'll just cut that out because time is getting kind of short here. Alrighty. Save complete, so let's go ahead and get back on aggro, even though I am kind of afraid. Ugh. Yeah, I should be able to go around now get back to the desert. It's not too far from here. I know that much. It's kind of funny, though, is that the location for this Colossus actually is probably the most open spot in the game. You can get to it very easily. Unlike the other Colossus areas where you're kind of, you know, regulated to one little narrow area you can go, this one's pretty open. It's the most expansive Colossus area in the game, in my opinion. Uh... Ugh. Acro, you are not an M3 Sherman. Or M4 Sherman. Stop acting like one. <sighs> this is just turning into the brimstone just runs into everything and looks like a klutz for 15 minutes. Seriously, this is what it's turning into. Okay, I see desert and I see Stargate. We're in the right area. What's funny is, yeah, I commented that it looks like a Stargate. It's actually a big reference to Ico or Eco or however it's freaking pronounced, the game. Uh, in the Queen's Castle, there's a lot of gates that look exactly like that kind of a iris looking, well actually it's not iris, it's a rounded door that goes up and down. Kind of strange that they'd be out here. Maybe the queen excavated them and put her put him to her castle. 
Actually, it kind of reminds me of Stargates, what they did in the Gaza. Oh well. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think I can. I'm almost in sync with the music, the drums. And. Oh well, we'll go ahead and run through the gate here. I like the detail. Pretty nice. So I'm pretty sure that's what the gate looks like. Now that I remember it. Oh well, this is actually not where we're supposed to go. Actually, our destination is at Rocky Outcropping. It looks like Stonehenge. And I'll go ahead and pause the music always because we're very close to the Colossus, even though it doesn't look like it. Trust me, it's here.